Ever wondered how to talk about things that haven't happened yet? Well, today we will unravel the mystery of the future tense in English. Buckle up, it's going to be an exciting ride through time. Firstly, let's talk about the simple future tense. This is used to discuss things we can't control or predict with certainty. It's like looking into a crystal ball and stating what you see as a fact. For example, I shall be 20 next Saturday or it will be Diwali in a week. This tense is also used when we make a prediction about the future like I think Pakistan will win the match or I'm sure Helen will get a first class degree. Now, let's move on to the going to form. This is used when we have already decided to do something before talking about it. For example, I am going to resign the job or I am going to buy a car. This form is also used when there's evidence that something is likely to happen in the future. For instance, it is going to rain. Look at those clouds or she is going to have a baby. The phrase be about to can also be used for the immediate future like the train is about to leave or we are about to have lunch. Similarly, B2 is used to talk about official plans and arrangements, often in a formal style, such as the Prime Minister is to visit America next month. Next, we have the simple present tense, used for official programs and timetables. For example, the college opens on 23rd June, or the film starts at 6.30 and finishes at 9 hours. It is also used for future time in clauses with words like if, unless, when, before and after. The present continuous tense is used when we talk about something that we have planned to do in the future. For example, I am going to Shimla tomorrow or we are eating out tonight. Lastly, we have the future continuous tense. This tense is used to talk about actions that will be in progress at a time in the future. For example, I suppose it will be raining when we start. Or this time tomorrow I will be sitting on the beach in Singapore. To summarize, the future tense in English can be expressed in various ways. The simple future tense and the going to form are used for predictions and plans. The phrases be about to and be to are used for immediate and official future events, respectively. The simple present tense is used for official schedules and timetables, while the present continuous tense is used for personal future plans. Finally, the future continuous tense talks about future actions that will be in progress. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to the future tense in English. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep using these tenses until they become second nature. Until next time, keep exploring the intricacies of the English language.